the Betfred Listed Chase is next, and we're back on the mild make horse for this one. This is a three mile and one furlong listed race for five year olds and upwards at the top. We've got Crackled for Alex Cherry, Flintoff Wedding, James Shea, Stone of Legends, Leon Van Rensburg, Q Card, David Hooley, Nashville Ortega, Vinnie Gerard, Bridge Cape, Darren Thompson, Rock on Susie, Q Graham Clutterbuck, and Track Down for Leon Van Rensburg. So eight this time then. And called in in the rain and away they go with the rock on Susie Q the first one to show as they make their way towards the first and they get to it and they're all over it nicely with Q card just a back marker they've got 16 more fences to take and flint off wedding on the outside is just an ahead of crackled and rock on Susie Q as they make their way towards the second the purple jacketed Q card is cutting through the field after a slow start obviously wants to be a lot closer oh one there's a four on there rock on Susie Q's gone so Susie Q Strikes the wrong cord and is out of the race early. So Crackled has gone on then and Crackled leads from Flint off winning in second. Bridge Cape, Stone of Legends, Q Card, Nashville all take it. And then track down at the back as they that's the big screen. This will be the last in two circuits time. They're all safely over that one then. And they're going to swing out now past this big screen, past left. They'll turn left handed and they'll go out for two circuits of the entry track and crackled is the leader by two lengths to flint off winning in second and the loose horse on the inside then comes stone of legends in third q card just tucked in the rail behind that one then the green jacketed nashville ortega then comes bridged cape and finally track down the second of the leon van rensburg horses he's the only one who's got two in this one but it's crackled in the lead trying to give alex cherry a quick double up after the thrills of rampant line in the last one but it's crackled making his way down towards the next end with a lead of a good three to four lengths to flint off winning in second stone of legend is back in third q card is fourth track downs moved into fifth and then nashville ortega and finally bridged cape with rock on susie q the one that departed early in the race so over the fourth they go and all we'll jump that one really nicely a really good jump at the back by bridged cape and the jockey keeping a firm grip on that one. He obviously wants it to be sat out in the back for as long as possible. But Crackled is bowling along nicely in the lead as they get over number five. A bit of a slow jump at the back by Track Down. But it's Crackled who's four or five clear of Flint off winning in second. Stone of Legend is third. Q card is fourth as they get over number six. And a mistake at the back again by Track Down. Really going to need to brush up on his jump in that one. If he's going to play a part in the finish. But Crackled... Is clear by five to flint off winning in second. Stone of Legend is third. Q card is four as they get over number seven. Really good jump there by the Vinnie Geron horse Nashville Artega. That one's now moved to a much closer fourth. But it's Crackled that sets the pace still. Crackled is still clear by a good four or five lengths to flint off winning in second. Stone of Legends third, then Nashville Ortega fourth, then Q card bridge crape and track down pretty much together as they take number eight. And over that one, a mistake by Q Card towards the back. Has seen that one now drop to last place, but it's Crackled who still leads. Crackled bowling along nicely in front. He's a good four or five clear of Flint off winning in second. In comes Stone of Legends, a similar distance back in third as they all stream over number nine. And they all got over that one okay with Q Card, the back marker, but now seemingly going okay after that mistake. And Crackle continues to show the way as they race through the rain big crowd as always here they come down to the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit and the leader crackle took a big 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 risk there took off really early stood right off it but got away with it okay the lead though now is down to just three lengths from flint off winning in second and stone of legends moving up on that one's outside now takes second place back in fourth is nashville ortega then comes bridge cape and track down and then q card they're out on their final circuit then now and it's still crackled in the lead despite that mistake but stone of legends looks to be going ominously well in second flint off winning his third then nashville ortega after that one then comes bridge cape track down and q card are together at the back but it's still crackled crackled by two maybe one and a half coming down towards the next fence then they're coming down towards the final mile of the race they're coming down towards fence number 11 and it's crackled in the lead by a length to stone of legends in second then comes nashville ortega in third then flint off winning his four then bridge cape and then a gap back to kew garden track down 
and Stone of Legends takes it up and jumps that one really well. Stone of Legends got over that one nicely, got away from it while he's a length clear now, then I've crackled in second. Then Nashville will take a bridge cape is now coming around the outside, flint off with him being pushed along, gap back to Q Garden, track down as they get over that one. Crackled another mistake. The mistakes are gonna cost that one, I think. It's Stone of Legends in the lead then. Stone of Legends from Crackled on the inside, bridge cape over the next they go. This time Crackled jumps in really well, but Stone of Legends is still the leader. Stone of Legends by about three quarters of a length through Crackled, Nashville Ortega, Bridge Cape wide on the track, then comes Flint on winning, Q cards trying to run on track down, here's the back marker, they're racing now towards the next, this is the 14th, they've got three more to take after this one, and it's Stone of Legends in the lead from Bridge Cape and Nashville Ortega, Crackled under pressure, then Flint on winning and Q card track down's out of shot, they're coming out towards the third last now, and Bridge Cape hits the lead, Bridge Cape takes it up from Stone of Legends in second, Nashville Ortega in third, these three starting to pull away from Crackled and Flint on winning over the third last and the leader went right through the top of it and now Stone of Legends and Nashville Ortega a challenge for the lead between the two of them Bridge Cape these three are still clear of Nashville of Flint off winning Crackled beaten Q cards trying to run on they're coming down towards the second last Stone of Legends on the inside and this time a better jump by Bridge Cape who goes back into the lead Bridge Cape's got a length clear Stone of Legends is trying to find back then comes Nashville Ortega these three are well clear they're coming down towards the final fence it's only a short run it'll all come down to their jump it's Bridge Cape and Stone of Legends Stone of Legends hits the front. Stone of Legends leads into the final fence. Stone of Legends gets over it well. Bridge Cape jumped it well as well. But it's Stone of Legends who looks like he's going to be strongest now. And Stone of Legends pulls away to take it. Stone of Legends is the winner. Bridge Cape, Nashville taking close for second. Flint off winning back in fourth. Then came Q Card and Crackled. Trapped down. Never really got going today. And Stone of Legends takes it. But there's a stewards inquiry, not that it's going to make any difference. Stone of Legends takes it for Leon Van Rensburg. Nashville Ortega was second for Vinnie Gerard. Bridge Cape was third for Darren Thompson. Flint off wedding for James Shea. Stuck on for fourth. And cue card for David Hooley was fifth.